Hey everybody, we are here at U.S. Toy Magic Shop in Kansas City, and we just had a fantabulous lecture by Mr. Shoot Ogawa. Welcome, Shoot. Hello. Hi. How are you? <laughs> so, how did you first get started in the world of magic? Uh, how old were you? Uh, what was the first magic trick you ever learned? I asking this question to everyone. <laughs> Pretty much everybody the same thing, right? Like when I was around ten years old, I studied magic. I I just uh, accidentally found a magic shop, and then you know I saw a magic trick in front of my eyes, and I thought, wow, it is real things. So I thought it was no real until that moment, and after that, like I just am into the magic f forever. So I'm here now. <laughs> Who would be your top three magical influences? Uh, well, I believe or not, like one performer is a comedy magician, and he passed a few years ago, unfortunately. But his name is Johnny Long from Sweden. He's great. He was a great, great performer. And when I was ten, I saw him on the TV, and it was excellent. So, just he was uh, really skillful, but uh, he was just really funny. So, and uh, totally different from me. But uh, I still love comedy because of maybe him. So, also uh, my mentor, uh, he gave me a lot of theory. But uh, I never really do exact type of performance style. I like uh, his theory, but I do not do exact. So just you know, be behind me, like an inside of me, is his theory. So, but you know, he gave me a lot of inspiration last 29 years. And uh, someone else, last one. So if I put some famous magician, other famous magician's friends gonna upset. And if I put that one, and other person might gonna upset also. I well, the let's see. Well, actually, I the last third person gonna be everyone probably because the uh, one thing my teacher taught me about learning things is like once, for example, if we are learning from someone and if we become top, now we feel like we can learn anymore, right? But uh, actually not. Actually, we have many opportunities to learn many things. Even you know, who is beginner magician, but uh, who give us like some of new inspiration, we never know. So if we don't become big head guy. And we can learn from everyone. So maybe third person is everyone, like all of you who is watching this video clip, probably. Uh, do you have any non-magical influences? No magical. Could you explain, perhaps, like examples? Yeah. So uh, do you have uh, interest in like uh, movies or art or things like that? Well, I like movies, and I try to see a few different kinds. Not only action. Not only like a. Uh, science fiction like I try to see a few different kinds only one thing that I don't like is a horror movie but a movie is <laughs> other than horror movie I really love many different kinds and also uh, I enjoy art sometimes but uh, I remember that when I was young you know in a school everybody every school student classmate everybody has to go to the museum and watch art which teacher force us to do I hate it so and you know when I found some art which is interesting for me later I just realized oh wow that's great but nobody forced me to see art. I decided to see and I found something from art and I respect that. So it means like you know, I like art, but I never like to force to you know, someone see the art. Like I don't say you have to see the art. But art has freedom, a bit of freedom. We decide what we want to see. And artists have freedom. They just do whatever they love and they don't care other people say yes or no. Just they believe this is great. They put it on the table and they don't care if people take or not. So I think that's uh, like uh, how I think about art. But I always get inspiration from everything. Music, musical, or from the comedy, serious things, or movies, or even like uh, whatever. Any hobby is great, you know. Good. Uh, do you prefer to learn magic from books or DVDs or both? A uh, little bit of everything. I, you know, like uh, many people just say no for the YouTube or no for the video clip, read the book. Book is great, but if you want to know about some of mechanic, sometimes the DVD video clip is super helpful. But uh, books, actually, it's harder for us to understand because we have to use our imagina imagination, we have to observe, we have to try many, many times to understand one thing, one trick sometimes. So it's really hard, but uh, it gives us a lot of opportunity to create something more than original tricks in a book. So it's like a book's definitely great training, but I also like you know that every different kind has a different possibility. For example, like uh, if you watch video clip, you can learn like this, but you're going to get maybe same joke from performer. So we don't want to have that. So we have to pick up good part of the every different kind and we have to avoid bad habit from every kind. So so I hope you know, like uh, some person read book and uh, don't misunderstand about technique. Sometimes people misunderstand totally and then people feel like you know 
like later, 10 years of practice, and later they realize it is so wrong, it's hard to change later. So that's, yeah. it's uh, difficult to say. But uh, any kind is fine, but I try to do everything. So do you have any good advice for the uh, young magicians that are just starting out? Um, well, the magic is just, uh, how to say, uh, magic is uh, like a one of a hobby. Maybe magic is a thing to enjoy with other people. Actually, magic is going to help you to be better man, probably. And if you want to be bad, of course, you know, magic can, you know, we can use magic knowledge to for the bad way. But most of the time, we are too busy to be bad. You know, like we are not, we don't have that much time to be bad person. We enjoy magic, we share with friends. And uh, when we realize actually other, other people was there and uh, we were doing magic like this, right? So means uh, like, you know, magic is definitely help you. But um, if you enjoy magic, probably you gonna have get social skill. You have to communicate with people anyway. Even you are learning from everything from the internet. Still you are observing stuff, try to think, digest info, and then you have to test for the other friends. Even if it's gonna be in front of the camera and showing to the camera to the other person, still you practice and you make something happen. So, I, but I would always say like enjoy don't have to think how much you must practice. If you have a fun time, you realize, oh, already I missed lunch. Oh, I, I didn't eat dinner tonight. Just I was hanging out with friends, having only one coffee, even half of a coffee. You know, we didn't finish everything. So that's supposed to be, you know, it's fun things. You know, nobody force you, just you force yourself to enjoy. I mean, we're going to forget about time anyway. Right. Yeah, that's it. I don't I'm no good advisor, so. <laughs> That's very good. So how can we learn more about you? Uh, do you have a website, Facebook, Twitter? Uh, well, I have a Facebook page, which I'm not handling, so please don't send me a message. Don't do that. So, and uh, if you want to contact to me, you know, uh, find me. I live in Hollywood. So, and if you come to Magic Castle, you know, find magician. Hey, do you know where's Shirogawa? And ah, oh, he's in Japan. He's here in Hollywood. And you can find me. So, if you wanna meet me, don't try to just use the internet. Come over to the Hollywood area and try to reach me. You know, I'm I'm happy to perform for you. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't have anything to contact. So, I don't do Twitter. I start Instagram, but I don't have. I, I closed everything, like and I, I don't share with so many people, only close friends. So best way is to just meet me. That's the best way to communicate with me. Find me in the world. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, thank you very much for your time. Shudogawa, everybody. <laughs>